And I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel and I know it's been about a week since I did a video and I am happy to be back tonight. Today we are going to be talking about Lake Mead. There is a storm possibly coming down the pike that could possibly potentially bring around a foot of snow to the Colorado Rockies. This is good news. If you're living in California and you're wondering about Lake Oroville, just not a whole lot. I have everything you need to know and if you are considered subscribing, that would be greatly appreciated. If you consider doing that, I would appreciate that a whole lot. If not, no worries. And please give it a like as well while you're there. The Colorado Rocky Mountains are looking fairly good this year compared to other years. There's more precipitation possibly coming. We're going to start off at tropicaltidbits.com. And you can see right here that there's going to be around a foot or so of snow. And this is fantastic. You got some 5 inches to 2 inches to three inches and then this heavy swath right through here right along the divide and down here as well this is over the next 384 hours now this is the gfs the majority of this comes within the next week or so so we'll see what happens we'll see if this comes to pass there is a big swath that goes up into missouri and western illinois as well but california you are fairly dry so this is not good news for like lake oroville lake shasta just not really what you want to see the high pressure we're going to roll over to windy.com and we are going to check out what it says over here at windy.com we are going to start off at the gfs the next 10 days and we're going to scoot in you can see that the majority of this is coming right here along the divide denver's going to actually get in on the action so some of it's going to be on the eastern side of the divide especially like denver bell over here is going to get about 4.7 glenwood springs is going to receive 2.7 you can see Gunnerson down here, 0 0.7, not a whole lot. Steamboat Springs up here, 3.7 inches. And we're going to look at the snow depth right now. The snow depth up to the north of Steamboat Springs is 44 inches. You can see over here, Vail, 40 inches. And you got a decent snowpack this year, which is fantastic. You scoot down here, you can see that Aspen down here, 4.61. Let's take a look at Aspen as we roll out here. Here's your current webcam here, the Snod Grass Cam. We go up here to Pinedale. You can see that there's snow on the ground. It's fairly clear there. The path is nice and clear there. So we roll up to the north of there. And you can see that they got 48 inches. And then we come down here to Rock Springs. Rock Springs has very little snow on the ground. Here is your webcam there at Rock Springs. Here is your Green River here. You see that the snow depth's 11.1 there. And not a whole lot going on. And we come over here to the Sierra Mountain Range here. And you can see Chester over here they got 31 inches so the snow depth over here by lake oroville is diminishing terribly 41.9 inches there as we roll down here by mammoth lakes you can see that there's 40 inches to the northwest of mammoth lakes and here is a picture of mammoth lakes here you can see that they got a nice snow packs there at the ski lodge there we go over by crawley lake over here you can see that they have around 31 inches as we scoot up to south lake tahoe here 24 inches and here's a beautiful picture of south lake tahoe beautiful place and let's roll over and we're going to check the water levels at lake oroville lake shasta and we will be doing the colorado river as well so so let's roll over there and see what's going on lake shasta water level the water level at lake shasta is currently 935.33 feet msl tuesday february 8th 2022 at 12 p.m the level is 131.67 feet below full pool of 1067 and and changes since yesterday, the sink continues to increase by 0 0.19 feet. Let's roll down to Lake Oroville and see what is going on there. Lake Oroville water level is currently 746.19 feet MSL, Tuesday, February 8, 2022, 1 p.m. The level is 153.81 feet below full pool of 900, and the lake is starting to drop, and it is down 0 0.3 feet since yesterday. So you can see that the thing is increasing. Let's go check out the output flows in the versus the inflows and see what those are currently at and we also will check Folsom Lake as well. Lake Oroville percentage of capacity is 46 percent. The outflows are 2,467. The inflows are 2,357. So there you have it and that's why the lake is starting to drop and it makes sense. They're really ramping up the power over at Hyatt Power Plant and Shasta is 36 percent of capacity, 10 percent less than Lake Oroville and the outflows 
are currently 2,774. The inflows are 4,292. That's why the lake continues to rise. And we'll check Lake Folsom as well. The elevation feet MSL is 420.37 feet MSL. And the capacity is 54 percent and it was at 60 of the early snow season so this thing has come down dramatically and the outflows are currently 2309 and the inflows are currently 1922 and it's going to continue to drop at that rate so we will check trinity as well trinity's outflows are currently 429 the inflows are 915 the percentage of capacity is 31 percent and your lake level is currently at an elevation of 2000 2,226.52 feet MSL and that is what's going on and you can check this link out below if there's a lake on here that you guys want I'll link it down below so you guys can check that out Lake Powell water level the water level at Lake Powell is currently 3,530.29 feet MSL Monday February 7th 2022 12 a.m. The level is 169.71 feet below full pool of 3,700 and changes since yesterday 0.14 feet let's roll down to lake mead and see what is going on down there lake mead water level the water level at lake mead is currently 1067.08 feet msl tuesday february 8 2022 at 2 p.m the level is 161.92 feet below full pool of 1229 and you can see the lake has dropped 0.02 feet and you can see that it's kind of been steady it has not been rising like previous years as you saw in previous years the lake was on a rapid increase and this year not so much so that's not good news and let's check out lake havasu and that'll be it for today lake havasu water level the water level at lake havasu is currently 447.54 feet msl tuesday february 8 2022 at 1 30 p.m the level is 2.54 feet above full pool of 445 and this thing is on the decrease as you see this thing has been all over the place and changes since yesterday is down 0.06 thank you guys for stopping by much appreciated you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one god bless